This is a uh, Tobo Trail. Uh, smoke on the water. Uh, got a cigar here. I'm pretty excited to smoke. It's uh, bought it at a tobacco shop in Paducah, Kentucky, a couple months ago. Uh, you can see the. Uh, I know it's hard to tell. But if you can see the cellophane. It's very yellowed. There's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, colorations taking place over a while. There's a price on it, 875. Uh, the cellophane is yellowed pretty good, which is always a good sign. It's this this particular stick has been aged. Also, as you can see, if you're familiar with a Don Papine, uh blue label it's not the camera the label is very washed out looking it's faded from sitting in the humidor so long uh, this 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 stick here has been sitting a while so this is this one's well aged I don't know how long I didn't get a box date like I should have for that I apologize but I could tell by the cellophane that these have been sitting a while he had a pack of smaller blue labels, bright blue labels, and they were clear. They had they were fresher. Uh, the aroma off of this stick is a oh, it's a really good barnyard smell. Uh, one of the I haven't had a, a good barnyard stick in a while, and it's got a a really good uh, tobacco barn smell, you know. So this is a. This looks to be a, a, a nice stick. It's Don Papine Blue Label. Never had one of these before. But uh, we're going to give it a shot here. I'm trying out the uh, iMovie app on my iPhone. So it'll be a little different. I'm going to try to do them like you're supposed to. Talk about it a little bit. Clip it. Light it. Smoke it a little bit. Come back and say how it tastes. Now so you're a damn wise. And then, uh, sorry about that. And then give you the uh, finishing uh, finishing thoughts on it here after a minute. All right, I'll be back shortly. Thank you. Back with the second part here, of the Dompapine Blue. Uh, the burn is uh, very good so far. The flavors on startup were as I expected. Very smooth, very well aged. I would be very interested to try a, and I, I will now, to try a normal blue label to uh, see, you know, not that this isn't normal, but to see the difference that age has made. Because I would say this is at least, at least three years old, if not older. Uh, to see the difference that age makes on this cigar, uh, see how good the uh, you know, the, Back on the boat. The fresher ones are. Uh, but, uh, started out with a very smooth, uh, smooth finish on your palate. Uh, not very good at picking out flavors, but it goes nothing. It's got a very pleasant retro health, very pleasant pepper through the nose like most papine sticks. It's very smooth, uh, just enough. It's, it's like a white pepper, uh, enough to keep it, uh, keep it interesting. No bitterness. Uh, very good start. So I'll leave it at that, and I'll, uh, I'll check back in here about the halfway point. Uh, this is a Tobo Trail with a Don Papine Blue Label. Smoke on the water. All right, back with my third installment here. This Dompapine Blue transition just slightly. Uh, it's a very slow burner. Uh, absolutely uh, perfect burn. It asked. It asked after about uh, well, let's see. 
<laughs> that was a good, uh, nearly a two inch ash. Deckhands are going to love that in the morning. <laughs> good to be the king. <laughs> oh, I'm joking, I'll get it in a minute, but, uh, anyhow, uh, uh, ash fell off, that perfect cone, perfect burn. You see it's still stacking really nice. It's just turning out to be a very, very good tasting stick. Uh, if I can get this stupid thing to focus. And uh, very well constructed. Uh, you know, my Zycar, you know, of course, does a real good job with the cut. Uh, nice looking cap on it. And, uh, you know, it, it not only does it have a, a nice draw, not too loose, it's, uh, it's got a good pack to it, uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's just well constructed overall. Perfect bird, great draw, and great flavors. Aging, you know, I'm sure has a lot to do with that. But these aren't super expensive sticks. You know, these aren't anywhere close to expensive as is a uh, my father's and then you know don't even talk about the Le Bijou and all that kind of stuff if I'm pronouncing that right uh, yeah but I could see myself smoking uh, smoking putting definitely putting these into my rotation you know buying a couple ten packs of these or you know making a split in a box or buying buying a box and sticking them in my humidor if I could if I could keep them long enough to do them any justice uh, when I have something good though I tend to not be able to keep my hands off of it though but uh anyway I'll come back, you know, a couple more inches before, right around Alice the band Hooker, point. Southbound Montgomery Point, Alice I. Hooker. Alice I. Hooker always likes talking as soon as I. <laughs> but uh, I'll uh, come back around the band point, make another check in, see how we're doing. Tubbo Trail. Yeah, it's Tubbo Trail. Checking back in. Last uh, update on this Don Papine Blue Label. Uh, getting down to the band point. Still got a perfect burn, great ash, zero touch-ups through the whole cigar, which is kind of a rare thing these days for me, I find. Uh, you know, most of them start burning a little goofy. Doesn't have any tar balls or anything like that. See, the, I'm not a very wet smoker. I guess I'm about average, maybe maybe a little drier than average. But, uh, some guys smoke a whole cigar and it stays dry. Mine does get a little damp, but... Uh, no construction problems, no problems with the cap, no unraveling, no issues at all. As you see, no bulging, no cracks. Perfect construction. Can't can't say that enough. Perfect construction. Uh, the peppers dropped down a little bit, still a little bit through the nose. Other than that, the taste profile is kind of remaining the same. It's a mild, smooth, uh, well-aged tobacco taste. Uh, I taste some notes of some other flavor notes on the stick. I've been smoking cigars fairly regularly, going on two years now, and which you know that's that's nothing compared to some of you guys. But uh, I still have problems picking out a lot of uh, flavors. Uh, I I want to say I tasted in the middle some uh, vanilla aftertaste, which is kind of strange, but it wasn't it wasn't strong. And another one that was a couple draws that were almost, I don't want to say menthol, but like, like a minty, just a, but I mean, you know, with a cigar, like, like a, a, a pure, a, a good hand rolled cigar, the, it's more of the idea of a taste than an actual taste, so it's not flavored or anything by any means, but, uh, it's, I guess, a cooling effect in your mouth somewhere. It's a, a very good stick. I'm enjoying it very well. Love the pepper, love the retro hell all the way down. Pepper's dropping off a little, as most cigars do when they get closer to the uh, to the end. But uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll nub this one on down. So this will be my last update for this, finish it out. Don Papine Garcia has the, uh, you know, definitely thumbs up. As far as I'm concerned, you know, for whatever that counts for, probably not much. But uh, 
I'm not very good at, like I say, picking out flavors and stuff. I just do these reviews because because I enjoy them. I enjoy smoking cigars. And uh, I know there's a lot of guys out there that a lot of my friends can't can't pick out a lot of flavors either. I can tell a good stick from a bad, though, and this is a good stick. This is this is a good, enjoyable cigar. It's not too strong. I do feel, I guess one thing I need to mention, I do, did start to feel a tiny bit of nicotine buzz, and I am a, a heavy, dark, Lajero lover, so I don't get buzzes very often. It has to be a very strong stick. Uh, so, you know, I would say this, maybe it's also because it's the Churchill size uh I forget the name of it exactly. I'll check it out here. Sorry about my finger on the camera. Uh, the Magnate. This is a Don Papine Blue Label Magnate. So it, but it's basically it's a Churchill. Uh, got a little little bit of strength buzz uh, that, that faded off very quickly, but you know I did did start to notice it. So uh, yeah, thumbs up. Don Papine Blue Label Tobo Trail. Smoke on the water. Have a great time, guys.